This is the most exclusive CPU that AMD has ever created, and is likely the last CPU to be released on the AM4 platform. Say hello to the Ryzen 5 5600X3D. Now, it's exclusive because the 5600X3D can only be purchased at Micro Center while its limited supply lasts. And given this chip is comprised of leftover 5800X3D silicon, initial estimates put the supply to last no longer than three to six months. So if you are A, in driving distance of Micro Center, B, in the market for a new CPU, and C, with in this three to six month time window, is the 5600X3D even worth considering? Well, maybe. At six core and 12 threads, 3.3 megahertz base and 4.2 megahertz boost, the $230 5600X3D is actually a step slower than the 5600X in terms of clock speed. However, it separates itself with AMD's fancy new 3D vCache technology, which when revealed for the Ryzen 7 5800X3D last year, it made waves by empowering the fastest gaming CPU in the market. This same vertically stacked L3 cache now exists inside of the 5600X3D as well, giving it a whopping 96 megabytes of L3 3 cache, essentially reducing the need for the CPU to constantly have to go and fetch new data from slower caches and RAM, ultimately resulting in improved performance on paper. And similar to the 5800X3D having improved FPS over its counterpart, we also see the 5600X3D impressively outperform the 5600X from our early testing. Like here we see a 7% improved gaming performance in Dead Island 2 at 1080p when paired with a 5700XT. Similarly, we also see a 10% improvement bump in CSGO at 1080p as well. And best yet, we see a 20% gaming improvement in Modern Warfare 2, which is particularly impressive because it puts the 5600X3D a mere 4% behind the 5800X3D in this particular test. That said, I did come across a handful of games where there wasn't really any meaningful difference between the 5600X3D and the 5600X. In this initial batch of benchmarking, not all these games tend to benefit from the additional 3D vCache as other games might, such as Microsoft Flight Simulator, StarCraft 2, or War Thunder, which I haven't gotten around to testing quite yet. Even still, the 5600X3D clearly shows improved gaming performance over the 5600X, but at its announced price of $230, I'm still trying to figure out the ideal use case for picking up this CPU. Say, for example, you have a four to six year old AM4 setup, anywhere from a Ryzen 1600 to say a 3600 with an existing B450 motherboard and DDR4 RAM. And now let's say you're looking to make a final upgrade on your AM4 platform before jumping ship to AM5, where you'll ultimately need a new motherboard, DDR5 RAM on top of that new CPU. In this case, the 5600X3D might look like a compelling upgrade when compared to your current, say, 1600. But taking a step back, if you're really looking for that last hurrah on the AM4 platform and money isn't an issue, the 5800X3D for an extra $50 does look enticing due to both its gaming and productivity performance due to its 8 cores and 16 threads in addition to that stacked 3DV cache. And without a doubt, on the productivity side, the 5800X3D blows the 5600X3D out of the water. And on the flip side, if money is a concern while still looking to upgrade your older AM4 system, you can actually get your hands on the 5600X for around $150 right now, which is 70 bucks cheaper than the 5600X3D. And it would still be a noticeable upgrade to hold you over while you're waiting to bite the bullet for AM5. All right, so what other use cases does AMD have in mind for this CPU? Perhaps you're a small form factor AM4 builder who sees the 5800X3D running a bit hot at 90 degrees under load and are hoping that the 5600X3D can run a bit cooler inside of your compact SFF case. Well, it turns out the 5600X3D runs at a pretty similar temperature, but does end up drawing slightly less power at its default voltage and is able to maintain upwards of 4 GHz clock speed under stress. But the takeaway here is that it does run hot. So another use case we haven't talked about is using this CPU to start fresh with AM4. If you're looking to build a brand new AM4 computer from scratch in 2023, Micro Center has announced some bundles as they famously do. So at the time of recording this video, it looks like you can get your hands on the 5600X3D along with a B550 motherboard and 16 gigs at 3200 gigahertz of RAM for $330. So essentially you're getting a motherboard and 16 gigs of RAM for $100 on top of the CPU, which is a pretty decent deal considering that most B550 motherboards run you 150 bucks and 16 gigs goes for $50. So out of the gate, you're saving $100 just like that. Now keep in mind that unlike some other AMD CPUs, the 5600X3D does not compackage with a stock cooler. And since we saw a bit ago that it does run hot, 
you'll likely be spending an extra $30 to $50 on an adequate cooling setup for this as well. But even still, I honestly think that these kind of bundles using this CPU in a new AM4 system is the most compelling use case for the 5600X3D, which I really wasn't expecting considering AMD is fully committing towards AM5 after this launch. Remember, this was an accidental CPU. It was born out of circumstance as opposed to purposely created. AMD would have much rather have all these silicon bits be 5800X3Ds as opposed to the lesser powered 5600X3Ds. But that aside, I came into this expecting the most compelling use case for the 5600X3D was going to be upgrading from an older AM4 system like your 1600. But again, the fact that we have the 5600X as the budget upgrade option and the 5800X3D as the all out upgrade option kind of puts the 5600X3D in a funny spot as an upgrade consideration. Now I'll caveat this review by saying I haven't fully benchmarked the 5600X3D with all of the games that would truly take advantage of the CPU stacked cache. But as a first impression, the 3V technology is clearly offering some raw gaming improvement over its smaller cached counterparts. And that said, this processor is really starting to look like a unicorn, but mainly in the sense that it has such a narrow sales window at a single in-person retail store. So that in and of itself might just make it elusive enough to turn some heads. That's all I got today. I'm Mr. Easter, and I'll catch you in the next one.